Squirreloid? Is, is that you, Ash? Yeah, it's, it's been a while. I can't remember what we used to do. I think we may have battled and stuff. You want to go first? Well, okay. I choose you, Just Dairy. Sorry, Squirreloid. I'm really rusty, okay? All right, well, let me see what I have behind my back. I choose you! What is that? Oh, no! Ah, Chesty Pokemon always gets the job done. On the table, Mega Constructs Pokemon is back on. We have Series 8. How did we get to Series 8 already? I think I may have skipped a few. This time around we have some very fancy luxury Pokeballs. And keep your eyes moving fast for the quick Pokeballs. So who do we have? Aeron! Sableye! Munchlax is back! Seen Munchlax with a combo pack? Sand Shrew! A Plusle! That one's new to me. And Eevee is also returning. Wink wink! Well we have a lot to do, let's get building! And we start with Eevee. Oh, that's right. I forgot. It's been a while. Let's open all these up at once. Everyone know where they are? Let's mix them up a little more. How about that? Not too bad. I have no idea where anything is. Okay then, well I want to start off quick with a quick ball. Here we go. Who could be inside this one? Looks like we're starting with Munchlax. Let's build Munchlax. Constructed we have its Munchlax. Looking super intense right now. This is the second Munchlax I have built. We have seen Munchlax before in a combo pack with Snorlax. Where, where is Snorlax? Oh, that's right. He is still guarding the entrance to the cave over by the Minecraft mountain set. He has been sleeping there pretty much forever. Going to need to find a flute or something to get him going. I can't remember what. That was a fun combo pack, but here's a chance to get just a Munchlax on its own. Pretty good build overall, very triangular. And obviously you can see there is a difference in faces. The older one with an open mouth, now with it closed. A very fine detail of Mega Constructs not releasing the same Pokemon's face twice, I believe. And of course, like always before, use their Pokeball container as a display stand. Good start. Who shall we look at next? We'll go with right on the side here. It's a sand shrew. And we have constructed a tiny little sand shrew. This one being super adorable like many. Going to have to check my archives, I thought a sand shrew was already made available somewhere along the line. For some reason, every time I look at Sanshu's face, I think Spider-Man. The line work in between the eyes must be doing that, kind of like a Spidey mask. And even the bricks on his back, very spider-like. I don't know why I think that. I like the construction of this Sanshu. I like the legs, how he stands, and the tail on the back. A very balanced Pokemon build. And we can now stand him up on that luxury ball. Very nice. Okay, who is next? Let's go with the quick ball under the luxury ball. Gotta be this one. Who do we have? Do you remember who's in who? Ooh, this one's gonna be interesting. A Sableye. Mm -hmm. 
Constructed we have Sableye, probably the gem of this collection. A Darkness Pokemon standing up tall right now. Let's hunch him down a little more. There we go, doesn't look so eager now. A fun build, looks like they captured Sableye pretty well. I like the detailed tiling of the gemstones on front and back. And I always like the rubbery cutouts that Mega Constructs adds to some of their Pokemon. Very nice on those ears, or whatever you want to call them, whiskers. Gemstone eyes could be a little more effective, but still a pretty nice looking Pokemon build. And place on Pokeball. We're ready for the next. I suppose we'll go on to another luxury ball. How about this one over here? It would be a Plusle. And we've constructed a Plusle, a cheering Pokemon. Give me an S! Give me a Q! Give me an R! Give me an L! What's that spell? Squirrel? Oh boy, that was bad. Up a little closer on Plusle. This one's pretty new for me. I don't think I've really ever heard or seen a Plusle before. Kind of a very similar Pikachu build. I think they could have differentiated a little better with its ears. On its face we have pluses, and on the back a plus-like tail, a little more of a rubber piece again. Almost feels like a medical Pokemon. I like the arms though, that was a simple fix. Certainly cute and new to the line, welcome addition to Series 8. Very well, we're down to our last two Pokeballs. Let's go with blue. It's gotta be an Aeron. And we have constructed Aeron, a Iron Armor Pokemon. Always good to see a new Pokemon in the collection, although not really the best constructed, mainly because of that huge crack going down Aeron's head. Seems like they could have figured out something to place on in there and smooth it out. The head is also a little top heavy, so occasionally he will fall forward. So you kinda gotta watch out. Not too bad though, I think it fills in the collection well. And luckily there's a display post included to help him up on the Pokeball. Fun build with that one. And looking like it's time to open up our final luxury Pokeball. If all math is correct, this should be an Eevee. If not, we'll be in big trouble. It is, it's an Eevee. Let's get building. Final constructed we have its Eevee, and it's looking like a really nice update to Eevee as well. This is a winking Eevee, and what we've seen before from Eevee was a little weird. So it's good that they're updating some of the earlier waves. I think the primary update to this one that makes it look so much better is the soft rubber plastic fur collar going around her neck. Before it was just this weird circular stud piece it made her look really strange. And Eevee being one of the more very popular Pokemon, it was good to go back on this one and do some things. Also, the lighter tan fur color looking way more accurate. This is an Eevee not to be missed if you were dissatisfied with the Eevee of before. Looks like the legs were also modified to stand a little taller. Very well done with that one. And a place onto the ball. Looking very good Eevee is. And there is the Series 8 collection we saw today. Not a bad run. I really need to get back on track with previous series. I have a Series 5 I believe I wanted to get to. And I've also noticed a All-Star series popping up. There's several things to look at. And of course some of the larger builds are always fun. It's really good to see Mega Constructs continuing with this very cool line. And it's good to see... There's a train horn in the way. <laughs> Man, that just doesn't go. I better just stop. And it's good to see more variety in these Pokeballs. I know I complained a lot about that at the start with just the basic Pokeballs. That's Series 8. See if you can catch them all.
Mega Constructs Pokemon Series 8 arrives on store shelves February 2019. Each Pokeball set runs approximately $6.99. If you're a fan of constructing your Pokemon and having the ability to store inside a small Pokeball, the Mega Constructs collection is perfect for you. There is never a bad time to jump on in with these. They're a fun collection. Keep an eye out for them today. That's what I have to say about that. Looking at Munch Relax makes me think about eating acorns. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe.